Uh, so we're almost we're getting pretty close. Uh, I've made this little to-do list of of things that I like to model still on this this project. Um, that involves mirror, the like little reflector and side markers and stuff all over the car, and the door handles, and like gas cap wheels and tires, and um, neaten up some areas. But for the most part, these are just repetitive, redundant parts. Um, I mean, it's, it's not a lot of new information to go over, but uh, I just wanted to go through it anyways because just just for completion's sake. So this part I was going to do the mirror, side markers, and door handles. So let's just jump into it. I'll start with the door handles because they're fairly easy. I'm just going to turn our subdivision surface down because it's starting to lag up a little bit. Or maybe even turn it off completely. Uh, so the door handles are right here. And basically what we want to do is make sure screencast keys are on and basically what I want to do is edge slide some of this geometry to one side of the door handle and then we can add a loop cut to the other side um, Try to keep, uh, even though these are separate meshes, you want to sort of keep these lined up as best you can, just so that um, the subdivision surface modifier doesn't um, change based on that. So I'm just going to move some of those out of the way to the right side, and then we can go ahead and add a loop cut here, uh, and maybe even a little bit further, because we're going to inset it. Um, and I think we used that before, so um, nothing new there. And I just want to add, add a loop cut to the other pieces of the uh, mesh as well, just to follow that edge loop that we just added. I honestly think that since these are pretty uh, simple pieces, they're fairly straight. You probably don't need them, but just in case. So now our uh, door handle is sort of in between these two faces, and I'm basically just going to click I to inset, which is basically the same thing as extruding and scaling in, but it just does it in, uh, a little bit neater. And so then we're just going to edge slide some of like this, this one to perhaps the middle-ish of the door handle, this one to the top-ish, um, and then we can go ahead and sort of position these um, in door handle shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, after the subdivision surface, it'll round everything out. Um, so we can kind of, oh, that's because our subdivision surface is so low. But even with, uh, if we go ahead and we talked about mat caps earlier, turn on the mat cap, uh, it does You can't, it, it does sort of cause some, it's not as smooth as it could be. Uh, if we go to like reflection blue, you can see that the reflection um, changes direction because it is, it's not perfect. We can try to correct it, you know, that's probably fine. If it really bothers us so much later, we can go ahead and and fix it. Oh my god, I hate the laundry sound. But uh, I'm basically just going to look up a mirror real fast. I mean, um, the door. And the door handle real fast. So. Looks something like that. So we'll extrude it in, scale it down a little bit, and then add the actual handle part. Whoopsies. Again, just oh, lag. That's why I turned this off. 
And so we extrude it in along the X, and we're just going to scale it in a bit. Probably even add a loop cut here to sharpen that up. Maybe not that much. Perhaps something like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and select um, those vertices there. Shift D to duplicate them. And uh, I'm just going to click. What am I going to do here? I'm going to extrude them out just ever so slightly this way. And I think just fill in a face. select this and uh, click P to set, make it a separate selection and go ahead and repeat that process that we did for the uh, shrink wrap modifier just so that these this attaches onto that um, door uh, so again we're just going to select that uh, the ring of vertices around the um, part that will be connecting to the door add a vertex group assign those vertices to that group um, go ahead and add in a shrink wrap modifier target the that and then just make sure vertex group oh maybe I'll do it then I'm just gonna apply that just kidding no um just going to keep it like that. Afterwards we can apply all the modifiers and everything and then it will be um, then we can neaten it up afterwards because right now that, that's just a, f a face that's filled in that I don't really want it to be. But you know it's fine. I think it, it looks from, from afar it looks alright. Looks good to me. Um, let's go ahead and model the mirrors up next. This is just some straight up regular modeling. I think I'm going to repeat that shrink wrap modifier thing just to do that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and add in a cube. I don't know why this is so slow. these up. Uh, I always just, I don't know why, but I always have a, like a, for no good reason, a difficult time with mirrors. Like they're, they're not hard. They shouldn't. There's not even a lot to them. out just kidding not these ones I want that to stay I want those that to stay flat
said, it shouldn't, there's nothing really new going on here, it's just regular old. Polygon modeling, yeah, actually I think that looks alright. Overall mirror shape, looking good. What I do like to do is, especially for later, I'm going to select those four faces. That would be where the mirror part is. And set those. Then I'm just going to extrude them in ever so slightly along the Y axis. And then maybe do it twice just to sh keep it sharp. Alright, cool. Let's go to model the part that extrudes out. And to do this, I'm, I think I'm legit just going to be wicked lazy and add in a whole nother cube and just model it there instead of actually extruding it out of the side of the mirror. Because I'm being lazy. However, we do just want to delete these faces on the ends. Just so the subdivision surface modifier doesn't take them into account. Um, I'm just gonna move everything into position according to our blueprint. I'm gonna come down like this. These ones sort of go out over there. Those come up. Probably scale down. Yeah, I think that looks alright. Um, I am just gonna do that. So I'm gonna select the entire thing, separate it, um, create a vertex group of those vertices that I want to attach to the door. Shrink wrap, modify them. Not that entire part, just the group. Yeah, I think that looks alright. Maybe boost up the subdivision surface a little bit. Give it a quick save. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I am. I think it's coming along pretty good. Yeah, and let's go ahead and model some of these uh, side markers. It's basically going to be a similar. It might be. You don't even have to model them. They're, they are such a small, small. Uh, actually, I'm forgetting something on the mirror. This is just a small part, but it is sort of. There's a little turning part up here. So I'm just going to. Since it's being shrink wrapped, I, I'm going to hide that for a sec just to make sure it looks right. This is the same concept as the. Um, I'm going to redo that real fast, it's too wide. The same concept as the panel lines. Just make us two edge loops, add one in the middle, except uh, I'm not going to delete the faces in the middle. Sharpen up those sides. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm just gonna make sure none of those assigned to this group. I don't know why that's affecting that.
Okay, sorry about that. Um, you know, whoops. I don't know why the shrink wrap modifier was affecting them, those vertices, even though they weren't part of that group. Um, right now, they're just sort of extruded past in the door. I just applied the modifier, and now I'm going to redo that um, part. I don't really know why it was affecting it, but work or just work or work around it. Yeah, very minor detail. Probably wasn't even worth the hassle, but what was I saying before? Side markers. They're such a small detail, but um, I'm gonna model them in anyways. Because we can. Uh, I'm just. Gonna, I want to look. I think feel like for the side ones they're probably just like attached on, but for the uh, ones on the bumper they're probably. Does it say what year it is? Yeah, 2015. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do kind of want to. They are sort of indented into the bodywork, which makes things a whole lot more difficult. That's fine. So we got one up here, Whoop. one back here, and there's one back here too. Or two back here, but it'll be mirrored, so it's just one. So I apologize if this isn't super informative. I mean, uh, I, I kind of want it to be. I hate just to, like going over the same same things over and over again. But uh, you know, sometimes what do I, what do we want to do here? I think I know what we want to do here. It's just, this is what it is. Um, I'm not going to indent it. I'm just going to add in. I don't, I'm just going to duplicate it. I'm just, I don't care. Uh, I'm going to take these faces here, duplicate them, separate them, and just make everything square by um, straightening out using the uh, scale y0 trick that and then scale z0 for these ones and I'm just gonna scale it down to roughly side marker shape probably just delete these edge loops actually just so it's a square and then re-add them so they're even I don't know all right so we got we got this I'm gonna add two more loop cuts in the middle. Um, so we got our side marker. It's a really good side marker. And I'm just going to shrink wrap modifier it on. But watch this. I got a trick up my sleeve. I got a trick. Alright, so it's currently being shrink wrapped on. And since it's kind of far away, it is being distorted a little bit. Um, so by we can sort of um, hide the subsurface, hide the shrink wrap modifier, and then just place all of these vertices that um, you can't, if you can't see them uh, in solid mode, just bring them out ever so slightly until you do see the vertice itself. This isn't the trick, I'm just fixing something. Just uh, just out until you can see it. Right there. Right there. Let's probably go back like that. Alright, now if we do that, should grab subsurface. Yeah, now it's a lot more even shaped. So right now if we render it, 
it looks kind of gross because there's two planes in the exact same spot. Um, but if we go ahead and add another modifier, um, this is going to be the solidify modifier. And we're just going to thickness. It wants You want it to be negative because you want it to come out this way. And just make it thin enough to pop out but um, thin enough to for you like to barely notice it and I'm just going to not apply it I am going to add in an edge split and change the split angle to like something really low I mean high like 70 yeah 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 that's what we want to do so now I'm going to repeat that process for this rear portion um, duplicate those two faces separate them separate and I'm actually just going to join it onto this object so I'm going to shift select that first object control J to join and then I'm just going to position all of these where they should be. And then for these rear ones, I'm just gonna do the same old thing. Might might straighten them out a little bit. Nah, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill myself. Hate that sound. And right now you can barely even notice that they're there. But when we add materials, you'll be able to tell because they'll be a completely different color. So yeah, those are there. Technically, if you wanted to model them right, you'd indent them into the bodywork um, and just don't want to create all that geometry though. Uh, so that's uh, my, my trick for modeling those, the lazy man's method. Well, what else was on our list? Um, mirror side markers door handles gas cap um, that one is again save that for last um, I've been thinking you know you know what we're gonna do what, how much time have we been recording 25 minutes uh, we'll do it in the next part uh, so in this part we model some of the last tiny detail pieces that I mean they're, 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 you could you'd be modeling these tiny pieces forever um, but I think we got most of the ones that matter uh, in the next portion I'm going to I want to talk about just needing neatening up some of these areas um, like this this engine hood isn't as sharp as it could be um, it's kind of just mushy and rounded because of the subsurface modifier so we'll go ahead and add some loop cuts to that and just take a look, final look over the entire mesh, um, this exterior mesh, and just do any final tweaks, edits that um, we deem necessary, and then go ahead to the wheels and tires, and then I guess if people want to know how to model an interior, I have no idea how to model an interior, but we can give it a shot, I guess. Um, 
I mean, this could go on for a while, but I, I kind of want to wrap it up. But if there's anything important that uh, I'm missing that you guys want to see, feel free to give a comment, and uh, that can be ad that, that can be addressed. So uh, I wanted to thank everyone for all of the um, support recently. Um, it was very nice to be able to. Uh, I know great speaker teacher but i'm really uh encouraged to speak to you guys uh, and if you, when you find them helpful and you know thanks so much for all the support uh i'll see you in the next part i guess bye bye